Lakers already has eight rebounds, but the Celtics trail. Lakers looking to take a three to one lead and a commanding lead in this championship series. Ray Williams goes inside, loose ball. Here's Byron Scott, worthy. Rambis, eight in a row by LA. I'll tell you, he's playing a game. This is one of those Laker runs that they're known for. Open is Ray Williams. Lakers quickly rotate to it. Harris loses it. Another Boston turnover. The Laker bench is up. They can sense that they can break it out here. They're leading by three and on a run. Five on the clock. And James Worthy. have come out strong Tommy in the first six minutes of this third period and here's one of the reasons why Bird is playing the free safety he's going to gamble in the paint guarding Rambis is not renowned as an outside shooter but watch what happens as it goes inside now to Kareem Bird starts to make his move tries to double Rambis knowing that's not his shot get it gets it to the guy who can bury it James Worthy patience that's the patience that the Lakers are showing that the Celtics are not Rambis has six points and four rebounds. The Lakers have gone from five behind to five ahead. Rambis, six points, four rebounds in this third period. Two-man game right now. McHale, and it's still Boston ball. Lakers are off the bench claiming otherwise. Bird will inbound. The rest of the Celtics, though, on the weak side of the court are just standing around a little bit, and that's allowing the Lakers to get very aggressive on defense. Dennis Johnson at the 24-second buzzer hits. He's got 19, and that breaks a 10-point string by the Lakers. Big hoop by DJ. Inside Worthy, and traveling call against Worthy. Turnover story. The Celtics already three in this second hand. Uh, Dennis Johnson has really become a floor general for this team tonight. Danny Ainge with so many fouls. Steele, Jabbar, Worthy, the stop. And a foul. Ray Williams sits down and Quinn Buckner replaces him. That was not the best of all fouls in that situation. Well, I don't think it was so much the foul. It's this pass here that he tries to make. Poor judgment. And that leads to these type of situations. He makes the foul, but so what? Because it ends up a three-point play for the Lakers. So Buckner is in to try and stop the turnover problem. Lakers by six. Larry Bird misses. And the Lakers are running. Scott from the corner. Bird grabs the rebound. And the Celtics push it up. Three on two. Dennis Johnson. Buckner winds up with it with 4.50 to play here in the third period. Lakers lead 75-69, and McHale is fouled, and Kareem is angry. Three on number 33. Now they're going to really challenge Jabbar, try and work him for the foul. And Kevin does it nicely by taking it to him. Kareem doesn't like it. And, you know, one of the things that the Celtics might be counting on is to lay a little body on Kareem. He's renowned for having a little bit of a temper. Any edge will help for the Celtics right now. Tom Kite has, Greg Kite that is, Tom's the golfer. Greg has come in the ball game right now. His first appearance in the ball game. Well, it might be a good time for 
Greg to lean on him a little bit. They got some fouls to waste with him and try and tire out Jabbar. Japan, one of two. Five point Laker lead, 440 to go. Lakers led by four at the period after one, and the Celtics had a one point lead at halftime. Greg Kite is called for pushing. First foul, and for the Celtics, their third team foul. That's on them almost an automatic now in this game that any contact in that pivot, they're calling it very closely. Buckner is on Magic Johnson, and he's fouled. Magic has a height advantage on Quinn Buckner, and he's trying to exploit that. Take it to the hoop and shoot over Quinn. Magic Johnson will shoot two. He is the high scorer for the Lakers with 16. Okay, the Lakers have not missed too many advantages and situations through this entire series. Outside of game one, they've been right on the money and things they're trying to accomplish. Attacking people, rotating people. They're up by seven, the Lakers are. Magic Johnson has nine assists. Inside the kite, Mikhail from kite. Well worked by the Celtics, and it's 77 to 72. Winding down to four minutes to go in the third period. Lakers score 10 in a row. To take the lead, and Kite is called again with the personal foul. And that's the penalty for the Celtics. Kareem will shoot. Tough spot for Kite, who has not played that much in his two years. Uh, Casey wants to uh, have him lean on Jabbar, but once Jabbar gets the ball, he should back off a little bit, release the pressure on him. He's going to be called for more fouls unless he does that. The importance and maybe desperation for the Celtics can be illustrated by the fact, Tommy, that Kevin McHale and Dennis Johnson have played the entire game for the Boston Celtics. Casey Jones attacking this game completely different than Riley using fewer people if possible. 345 remaining in the third. Seven point Laker lead. Quinn Buckner. Bird and Rambus went after him, and they're going to call it on Boston. Kite commits the holding foul. That's three quick ones on Greg Kite. Look how hard they work to keep the ball out of Bird's hands. Worthy is fronting him, gets in the passing lane, three quarters of him. Now Magic drops down. He's in the pen because he doesn't respect Buckner's outside shot. That's what they've been trying to do, get Magic out of the paint. Once they do the inside game, the passes are easy. Larry Bird goes out of the ball game. Scott Wedman has come in. Wedman has one point in the game. Celtics need his outside shooting. Dennis Johnson has gone out for the first time in the ball game. And Danny Ainge, who has four personal, has checked back in. He spot to find a good shooter for the Celtics right now. To not let this game get out of hand. Eight-point lead for the Lakers. Celtics with less than three and a half trying to climb back. Game five is Friday night here at the Forum. McHale going in against Rambus.